Before we get into this video, please subscribe to my channel, click the bell notification button and please like this video as well. channel as you guys have seen by the title of today's video today I will be doing an evening routine for 2021 how weird does it feel to say for 2021 like it is so weird to say that but I will be doing an updated evening routine because my evening routine has changed a little bit now Um, I'm a little bit older I like to change my routine up a little bit so yeah the routine change it, it's not a bad thing in the slightest but before we get into this video please make sure to leave a thumbs up comment down below and please also subscribe to my channel and please make sure to follow my instagram i'll put my instagram on the screen somewhere so you can all go and follow me i would love to get 3,000 subscribers no the 3,000 followers on my instagram and then 4,000 subscribers by the end of april on youtube so please keep subscribing and following to my instagram and YouTube because it really mean the world but yeah without further ado let's go on the video so on the evening I actually edit a YouTube video so today I do have a vlog to edit and also a couple of like sit down videos to edit so I have, I have actually exported them on my laptop as you guys can probably see already Um, so I think I'll go and edit a video every evening I like to light a couple of candles so I do have a Yankee candle up on there and then I also have an Ikea candle over there as well and my room does smell lovely. Candles have really helped me relax so that is why I do have a couple on. The time is currently five o'clock so I will be having my tea in around an hour. Um, I don't actually know what I'm having for tea yet but I am pretty hungry already. If I have a little snack now I haven't put off my tea later so I think I will crack on with a bit of editing and then I will probably like tidy my room up a little bit I'll make my bed again because as you guys can probably see it is a bit of a mess um, but I actually have a vlog to edit uh, Instagram followers chooses my makeup video to edit and also a uh, January favourites video to edit so I'll choose one of them to edit and then I'll try to upload it onto YouTube if I have enough time before tea because sometimes on YouTube it takes forever to upload a video so we'll see about that but yeah I'm gonna do a bit of editing but before I do that um, every evening my mum actually puts some clean clothes like on my bed to put away that's been in the wash so I do have a couple of clothing items to put in the wash I do have a leopard print blouse and also a jumper to put in my wardrobe so I'll go and hang them up and then I will do the editing so yeah here is my wardrobe as you can probably see um, I will be hanging the clothes up so I just need to get a couple of hangers to put my clothes in the wardrobe obviously um, what hanger do I use got one here I'm just gonna put my jumper on this just because um, it'll be easy to put the jumper on this one is instead of the blouse well there's one jumper on the hanger ready to go in my wardrobe I'm just gonna put this one in the jumper section and then I've also got another hanger and I'll put my blouse in this so then I'll, I'll put this in between the jumpers and the t-shirts I think I like to have everything organised in my wardrobe so like I have like all my college clothes and work clothes in the end and then jumpers, then blouses, then t-shirts and then like skirts and dresses and everything else oh okay let's just, let's just ignore that um, but yeah that is all done so I will be going to do a little tiny bit of editing now and then I will actually probably have my tea soon I am honestly so hungry I don't think I've ever been as hungry in my whole entire life but yeah <laughs> I have been eating a lot during this lockdown so that is probably why I am constantly hungry because I'm constantly eating yeah it's not good <laughs> what video to edit mm, this is always the worst thing about deciding what to edit on YouTube <laughs> I'm kind of thinking the vlog is 40 minutes long which is a long time and that means I won't be 
I won't be able to get it up uploaded in time for tea time so I'm thinking I will probably go for the Instagram video just because it won't be as long and it'll be easier to edit as well um, so let's try and upload onto iMovie I do edit on iMovie because I don't like I want to pay £300 for the other one what's it called again um, Oh, what's sort of the editing software called? I'm trying to think what it's called. Final Final Cut Pro, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, do I really want to be spending £300 on the editing software when I've got iMovie? I don't think so. Um, right. iMovie video. Sometimes it takes forever to load up a video on, on iMovie. It's like, why? Right, I think I have a few screen recordings on my phone as well, so I'm gonna have to get them. I don't know where my phone is actually. Oh, it's here. Right, my laptop's got 43%, so that should be fine. Right, so this video is gonna be 35 minutes long. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm gonna have a a jolly time editing this everybody. It's about an hour and a half later and I've had my tea. I did have fish, chips and mushy peas for tea and it was incredible. Like it was so nice and I wolfed it down because I was absolutely starving. But now I'll go and light my candles again because candles are lovely to put on on the evening time and are very relaxing for me. So I will be putting on the Yankee candle and the vanilla candle as well so I'll just go and get my lighter right here's the first beauty just put that on first there we go smells incredible the flame is quite high I don't know if you guys can see that on the camera but that flame is massive and I I'm quite concerned about it. <laughs> Whoa. That is not normal for a flame to be like that, is it? Surely not. God. How could I have a fire soon, guys, in my house? Then also this beautiful vanilla three wick candle from Ikea. Let's burn this beauty because this smells gorgeous. Who else loves the smell of vanilla? Like vanilla candles, vanilla room sprays, vanilla anything. Love it. That's that one. Also, in my little dressing gown as well, I have my tea in this. Um, as I usually wear in my dressing gown to go down for tea. As it's nice and cosy. It is from a pretty little thing, case you're wondering. But now, I think I'll go and take off my makeup because I like to turn my makeup off around this time so that I can relax and then do my skincare and then just chill. And then, yeah, so. I will be using the Garnier like Star Cleansing Water and some cotton pads to take it off, but obviously like I'll take you over to my makeup desk to take the makeup off. I have had my makeup on for to work this out. Around seven hours almost probably, so it is quite a long time. There's now is oh I've got hiccups. It's now time to take it off. Thank God for that because I was being on for ages. I'm taking my makeup off now. I will be using the original Micellar Cleansing Water. This is the 700ml one, which is like the biggest one you can get. I I will be using this to take off my makeup and I will be using the Primark 90p oval cotton pads as well because these are so good and they take your makeup off very well. And I will be putting my eyelashes in their original box, obviously, because... I like to keep them nice and safe, so I'll just make sure that the box is all nice and clean before I take them off, and then I'll try to slowly take them off. Well, that was quite easy taking that one off. These eyelashes are massive. In case you're wondering, these are the, the tatty lashes in TL for me, so they are quite big, but the fake like hair slash fur, so it's very good, and at least we're not killing an animal when making these eyelashes which is good um, then after these are in the box I'll be putting the micellar cleansing water on the cotton pads and hopefully 
I will not have a pink stain on my eyelid, like from the eyeshadow. door. Um, every time I use like a high pigmented eyeshadow, it stains on my eyes, so it's um, not fun. But right, a couple of cotton pads, I put it on there, a few squirts. Then I like to hold it down on my eye, like so, for like a few seconds and wipe. And hopefully, fingers crossed, it won't stain. But I've got a feeling it will because I have had this eyeshadow on for a good few hours. Um, can't tell if it has or not. I don't think it has actually. Like it's only stained a tiny bit, but like not much, which is good. Oh, thank God for taking my makeup off. Like it is the best feeling. It is the best feeling taking your eyelashes and makeup off. Like, oh, skin feels so much better for it. This is the first time I've worn makeup in a few days. I think the last time I wore it was like Wednesday or something. Or Thursday, probably. And it's now Tuesday, so um, I don't wear makeup that often, really. I suppose because we're in, I suppose because we're in a lockdown as well, still. Like, I don't really have anywhere to go, apart, apart from going to B&M every now and then. I do love a good trip to B&M. Who else loves a good trip to B&M? I always end up with like a lot of cleaning products and like chocolate and everything. Like, once I've been in there. I do have a lot of eyelash glue stuck on my eyelashes, which is not good because it literally is a bummer to take off. And then the other cotton pad is used from... And the other cotton pad is used for my face, so I'm just going to take the rest of the makeup off and then I will be doing my skincare after this because it is very important to be doing your skincare at any age really. There we go. So there is my makeup almost all off. I do have some eyelash glue in my lashes which is disgusting. Like it, it's all pink as well because of the eyeshadow. I also have a pink line on my lash line which is... um. A lovely look to be having. A lovely look to be having in lockdown. Right, there's a little bit of foundation in my hairline. Let's get that out. But now, I will go and do my skincare because I do have a little bit of excess like foundation on my face, and I really need it like taken off because it's just it'll end up clogging all my pores, and then I will end up with very black bad blackhead so that is what I'm going to do I'm going to go and do my skincare in the bathroom um, and then I will see you after my face is probably all nice and clean probably time for skincare so for cleanser I will be using the soap and glory face wash this is the vitamin C one and I will be using my gorgeous Duval spin brush to apply it with and then after that I will be using a Nivea toner and then my everyday moisturiser as well because um, cleanser, toner and moisturiser is very important for a good skincare routine so I will fill the sink up with lukewarm water and then I will start with my skincare which I, I do my skincare every night as it is very important to look after your skin so I recommend if you don't do skincare every day that like, you start now because you could end up with wrinkles when you're older which would not be good at all I'm just going to wet my face a little bit there we go, hello I don't know if you guys can probably see me or not but <laughs> I have to try it's really hard focusing for this camera as well um, has the autofocus, does not work because it's a Canon 1300D camera and like it's like a 9 square something, I don't have a clue, I've been googling it um, I've had this camera for like 3 years and the and the autofocus has never worked on it and then I found out why the other day and I was quite shocked because it's like a DSLR camera but the autofocus doesn't work so I was like great, brilliant <laughs> anyway I'm, I'm just going to put this everywhere on my face first and then this is where the spin brush will come in this is the default spin brush 
I think I used to have cords for it. I'll do, but if I do, I'll put the cord on the screen for you all now and you can go and use it. But it's really good. It cleans your skin so well and like it like it, it gives you a deep clean on your face. I like to go over in a few circuits until all the makeup is off my face and chin. Because even if you um, use a makeup remover, there's usually a lot of excess makeup be left behind on your skin. You need to make sure that it's all removed so that your skin is fully cleansed. I might have to go for a double cleanse today just because I do have a lot of makeup on. Right. I'm going to dip that in the water and then I will be using my face cloth to remove all the face wash so I will be using this grey cloth from Primark it's so soft and so nice on your skin now that all the cleanser is pretty much off my face I will be using the Nivea toner to basically level the pH in my skin again and had some moisture back into my skin also because that is very important so I'll just take the plug out and I'll try my face and for toner I will be using the Nivea toner I bought this for £2 in some I think it was like Super Drug or something or Sainsbury's and I put it on the cotton pad and put it all over my face and there we go my face all toned and then I will be using the Neutrogena moisturiser which I use every day, every morning and night and this makes your skin very moisturised, very smooth as well actually and then here you go, here is my skincare pretty simple really, only takes under 5 minutes it takes no time at all guys honestly after my skincare I like to clean this desk here as you should get a lot of makeup on it. I like to give it a wipe over so I will be using a cherry fabulous spray and I'll just like spray over her and clean and get any germs or bacteria off or, or marks or whatever it is and just give it a little clean over and also the drawers as well because they do get stained easily as they are white and that is it really it, it takes no time at all to do yeah here we go that's all nice and clean now and smells of cherries which is beautiful now time for her hot chocolate so there we go the, the galaxy my favorite it's really hard to multitask with the camera but there we go i now have a lovely i now have a lovely hot chocolate i did have a load of marshmallows but they've all melted but i have it in a cute hair mug off scott for christmas look how cute it is it's pink and gold but yeah um oh god i'm not focused with how i'll have this and then i will have to export the video onto youtube as it is almost fully edited and then after that i think i'll probably go and have some food or something because I like to have like a snack after I've had my tea, like a couple of hours later. But for now, I'm going to enjoy this beauty. It's out of focus, I know, but <laughs> yeah, can't wait. I am currently uploading a video onto YouTube. Like, it's literally it taken me half an hour already to upload it, and it's going to take another 33 minutes. Like, what? It takes ages to upload. A video on YouTube at the minute I don't know why but I also have my PJs on now because like I love to wear my PJs you know I have some Disney PJs on they're very cute I love them so much I've had all of my hot chocolate as well so that's all finished but yeah I'll be waiting for this to upload like every night it takes me ages to upload a video Um, I have been filming a lot of videos lately Um. I think because I've been really bored, but yeah, these PJs are so nice and cosy though, and I love them. So it is a little bit later now, and the video is still uploading, it's taken forever, it's kind of stressing me out a bit. Um, but yeah, um, but to be honest, I will be chilling for the rest of the evening. Um, I will obviously brush my teeth and, and brush my hair and 
and whatever else I usually do. I think it, it would be quite boring if I did a vlog myself, brushing my teeth and brushing my hair. Um, so I will be ending this video here. So I really hope that you guys have enjoyed. If you have, make sure to leave a thumbs up, comment down below. Please also subscribe. I really want to. I really, I really want to get to my goal of. 4,000 subscribers by the end of April so let's make it happen because seriously I've been wanting to hit 4,000 subscribers for the longest time ever I think since July time or June I've been wanting to hit 4,000 and it still hasn't happened yet so but what is going on please subscribe but I really hope that you guys have enjoyed and I will see you all in my next video bye everybody